everyone. How are you doing this evening? Tonight we're going to do a fall wreath. And um, uh, let me show you what I have for tonight. I have this cute, cute sign that I made. And you can find it in my shop. And um, it is Pumpkin Junkie. Okay? And tonight I'm going to lower the camera. And then what we're going to do is we... Well, i got to go around to lower the pumpkin. I do not have my daughter with me or my grandson helping me out tonight, which is fine. That's okay. We'll manage. We'll manage. Okay, there you go. How's that? All righty. So, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to start off and... Uh, Let's make our bow first and get that out the way, and we'll get that done. And uh, I will be cranking out, uh, starting next week, some Christmas. So, but I will be doing a, a fundraiser for my little sister, and her name is Lisa Tuyez, and... Uh, I'm sure y'all have heard me mention my little sister. Now, mind you, when I say little sister, she's four years younger than me. She is um, has four-stage metastasized breast cancer, and uh, she is going through with MD Anderson. And uh, so I will be having a fundraiser. Now, this year... Uh, I've made a lot of wreaths, y'all, and so I said, what better cause would it be if I did not have a live auction and donate the proceeds to help my little sister with her medical bills? So, I am going to be having a live auction on September the 6th, and that is Sunday at 6.30 p.m., and all proceeds will go to my little sister's uh, medical fund, okay? So, if you would, uh, I have posted that. Ooh, y'all, I think I have a torn rotator cuff. Uh, I think I lifted way too many boxes the other day, and I think I tore my rotator cuff. But it is what it is. Okay, so... Um, We're going to do a fundraiser, but I'm also going to design a breast cancer fall wreath for her. And it is going to be phenomenal. Uh, it is going to be done with the leopard print ribbon. It will be done with a beautiful pink velvet pumpkin. And I am presently working on the sign. And... Um, Y'all, I'm so excited. I cannot, I cannot wait to uh, do this wreath. It's just, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a teardrop or if I'm going to do a grapevine. I do, y'all, my first wreaths I've ever done were grapevines. I love grapevines, although I don't do that many of them on lives. I do do a lot on custom orders, and uh, I think it's probably one of my favorite wreaths to do. So, um, I haven't decided yet. I'm still working in my mind on what I'm going to be doing for it. I am presently looking for a bigger leopard print pumpkin and I have someone that I think I can get to make it for me y'all I I'm not a crafty person I'm just not a crafty person it's not my um, what can I say it's just not me uh, I'm just I don't have patience for that type of craft painting is something I do not like to do and uh, I'll leave it to the experts and let them go out and paint. How's that? Um, I 
Ah, oh, doggone it. Let me put this up. I wanted four loops on this. I talk too much when I design. How's that? So, but other than that, I am so looking forward to uh, doing this for my little sister. It'll be a lot of fun and uh, looking forward to it. Y'all, I've got to tell you this. My husband is in the house and he is cooking. That's right. Well, he cooks a lot, y'all. Uh, but um, where he came up with this idea, I don't know. I One of my favorite dishes is veal parmigiano, okay? And, uh, of course, everybody knows that veal cutlets are very expensive and they're very hard to find. He said he saw some veal, but it was sliced paper thin. I'm saying, uh -huh. He says, well, I decided I am going to do use pork chops. I said, oh, boy. I said, this, <laughs> y'all, I don't know. What can I say? I don't know about pork chops, y'all, uh, for Parmesan. So we're having pork chop Parmesan. Have y'all anybody ever heard of that? What a crazy, crazy idea he has. I've never in my life heard about it, heard that. So uh, tonight, I guess we're having... Uh, Parmesan, uh, pork chop Parmesan. Oh, so we'll see. All righty. Big and bold. Let's go. Okay, I don't know what I did. I see them now. Okie doke. Go with that. I love this teal, y'all. I think it is such a pretty teal. It's one of my favorites. Okie doke. Now, what I did is I started out, y'all, with six-inch loops, and I went down in increments. Maybe, I wouldn't even say, maybe a fourth of an inch, half of an inch, not even that much, you know, just barely uh, going down in uh, size uh, per color of ribbon. So, um Alrighty. Like that. So I'm glad I'm on tonight, uh, because um, if not, uh, because of the hurricane, uh, I may not have uh, been able to have gotten on if uh, Mario would have had his uh, drithers. But Mario, think, I think that was it, Marco, Marco, Mario, whatever his name was. They're coming up. You know, if they just stuck with girls' names, you know, it would have been easier. And easy, you know, it would have been easy. I like girls' names for hurricanes. Let them know who's boss. No, I'm teasing y'all. <laughs> okay. All righty, there you go. And then I've got one more. And there you go. I am so excited, y'all. I am going to hardworking moms wreath retreat uh, in Myrtle Beach in September and I am just so excited because I'll see a lot of old friends and hopefully meet a lot of new friends 
people that I've not met, but know because of our groups that we're in, and I'm so excited. We have such a wonderful groups. Uh, we're almost like family with Lori. And y'all, if you do not know Lori Jacobs, Lori Jacobs is probably one of the finest women I've ever met. She is kind and giving and just a wonderful teacher. She's my business coach. She's my uh, mentor. She is just the most awesome person you'd ever want. I'm actually, I am in two groups, y'all. I am in um, Katie uh, Salvatore's Crazy Maisie Creations group. And I am in, well, I'm in all of Lori's groups, every one of them. And when I tell you, y'all, they are very special. And uh, I hold a very special place in my heart for both of them. Although there is one other special person I have got to mention. And of course, my mother, uh, my husband would probably want to choke her. <laughs> he calls her hugger. And uh, it is Brenda Gallo with uh, Wreaths by Busy Bees. And the reason he'd want to, he wants to choke her sometimes is because actually I was uh, on Facebook one night and I was just a scrolling through and lo and behold, who did I see on Facebook but Brenda. And uh, she got me into this mess hook, line, and sinker. And... Uh, we have become good buds, and she's, she's really a sweetheart. I really love her, too. So, as you can see, I've made some wonderful friends through the wreathing community, and I'm very blessed. And uh, because, y'all, I'll be honest with you, I am, um, I am not a person that really... I'm not a very social person. I've always been more of a homebody. And uh, I'm not a big party person. And so uh, I do enjoy myself. I do like, and I'm, I like, I don't like real big crowds. I never have. I'm just not that type of person. Okay, we'll finish the bow in a minute, okay? When we get it on the wreath itself. So let's get going with this. Okay, and all right. Now. Here you go. What I've done is I've started and I'm going to use this. Let me show you what I'm using. Okay, yeah. All right. I have got a black and white check and I've got this awesome yellow. And it is so nice. And then I went with a brown. So I've actually got three different color meshes in here. So let's go ahead and um, let's do the brown next on here. And I cut this at 24 inches, y'all. I just, I just love this the colors in here. I think it, let me show you what it looks like with the sign. Look at this. Look at this with that sign. Isn't that awesome? At least I think it is. You know. So. So excited. This is going to be a really cute wreath. Now, if you're interested in this wreath, what you can do is uh, spread the love. I would appreciate it. And if you're interested, you can go to my Etsy shop and you can purchase this on my Etsy shop. Okie doke.
if you see me grimace every once in a while, y'all, my shoulder is cracking when I move it. And when I move it certain ways, it is a killer. I'm not kidding you. It is really a killer. What can I say? All right. Y'all, I tell you what, I have not been eating very well lately. Let's see. I I make a homemade killer granola, okay? And uh, today I ate a couple of handfuls of that. And I ate a piece of Swiss cheese. Thin Swiss cheese. That's what I've eaten today, okay? Now, and tonight, when I tell you I eat just a little bit, I eat just a little bit. But lately, I have just not been hungry, gang, at all. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Just have not been hungry at all. How is that, y'all? What do you think? Okay. So... But I guess tonight, oh, I will tell you what, I did eat a lot the other night. My husband made the most fantastic meatless pasta Friday night. When I tell you, it was so good. It was a basil pasta. Y'all, I used to do all the cooking. Now I make him do the cooking. Um, Y'all, when I tell you this pasta was to die for okay when i tell you it was to die for i am not lying he uh went outside and he grilled uh the little you know those little tomatoes um what do you call those tomatoes i don't know those are little ones okay and he grilled those little you know put them on the grill and grilled them just for a little bit, and then he had basil, and he got some fresh spinach, and now we didn't have, he had gone to the store, and he couldn't find pine nuts, so uh, he, uh, and if you can't ever find pine nuts, which you can substitute pine nuts, is almonds, but what just remember, y'all, whenever you're cooking with any type of nut, remember it's always best to blanch your, uh, when I say blanch, just turn your oven on at 350 and just throw them in your oven just for a second. And what this does, y'all, it brings up the natural oil within the the nut itself and it just brings out the flavor more and you can uh, do that so uh, just remember before you ever go to cook with any type of uh, nut just remember that heating them up just for a few minutes will bring out the natural oils and will uh, boost up the flavor so he used almonds instead he used and the spinach went in just the last second just enough to um wilt it okay and uh we had those tomatoes that he put in there and the pesto he made a basil pesto he purchased a basil pesto okay and y'all when i tell you he did a phenomenal job. I mean, it was so good. It was scrumptious. Oh, my, I got to tell y'all. Of course, y'all know I always talk about my grandkids. Well, my oldest grandchild, Tristan, called me today. And uh, I was telling about how I think I tore the uh, rotator cuff, uh, my rotator cuff, and uh, I said, oh boy, does it hurt, and I don't know what we were talking about, and she says, you know, mama, too, 
bad, you don't have <laughs> Now, mind you, my granddaughter, I don't think she, I don't know if she does or not, but I don't know how we got on marijuana, okay? I don't even ask, because I have no idea how we got into this discussion. I'm saying, listen, young lady, I said, this old broad, I have never, ever had a puff of marijuana in my life. I said, I guess I'm going to have to go up to Colorado and visit your sister. I said, but I don't smoke. So I guess smoking is out of the question. I said, um, I'll either have to try it with those. They, they even now making it with gummy bears, y'all. I'm saying I'll either have to try the gummy bears or try. I said, but I've heard that the brownies are spectacular. So who knows? But I said, I doubt seriously, Tristan. That's my oldest granddaughter's name. If your mama, I will probably go to my grave, honey, without having any marijuana. So uh, I guess I'm one of a few. And y'all, I was in high school and college. Uh, I graduated from high school in the 60s. So you know that in the 60s and 70s, it was rampant. Well, this old broad, mm -mm. let me tell y'all something. I've got news for you. If this old broad would have tried it, I guarantee you this. I would have been the one to get caught. Y'all, I was always afraid of doing something wrong and getting caught in the act of it and I so I guess you could classify me as a good girl because I just I was I don't know I guess uh well number one I know that the, my parents put the fear of the Lord in me so I knew I better not ever do anything that was bad the only thing that I can mm, the only thing that I can tell you that my parent, my father and mother both taught us, now I'm one of four girls, is that, let me tell you something, you take care of your sisters. If anyone, if you are there and anyone tries to hurt one of y'all and you stand there and you do nothing to stop it, my father said, trust me, you will be worse off when you get home. And I said, ooh, well, the only fight I was ever in, and it happened on a school bus, we, uh, oh, Lord, I guess I was... Um, Oh, I guess I was in junior high school, and my little sister was four years younger than me, and she was, um, and uh, she was little, so I guess it was like sixth, seventh grade I was in, and my other two sisters were in the back of the bus. Well, Lisa being, they used to put all the little kids up front, right? Well, this one kid in junior high and I'll just say his first name I will not to this his I will not say his last name Michael uh, he now mind you there were already four little kids in the seat well he decided he wanted to sit there so what he did do is he decided to push two of the kids out the seats. Well, one of them was my little sister, and she went flying, y'all. Well, I jumped up, and, and then he took a swing at me, which I didn't touch him. He hit me in my eye, which was my bad eye to begin with, and with that, my two older sisters come flying. Now, mind you, the bus is rolling. The bus is rolling, y'all. 
here come my two other sisters from the back of the bus, okay? Well, lo and behold, I'm up there crying, holding my eye. My little sister is crying. And finally, we got to our senses. And then my other two sisters are on top of him. And the next thing we know, the bus driver's pulling over. He's underneath all four of us, okay? Y'all, we have never fought. I mean, this is something we just were not raised to do. I mean, <gasps> we were ladies, y'all. This is something that just didn't happen back in those days, okay? Well, guess what, y'all? The next thing we know is that uh, the bus drive is pulled over, right? And uh, the bus, we, the fight stops. Uh, the, he, uh, we, then uh, I guess we get home. We were t told my father and mother what happened. Uh, and, oh, I guess it was about two hours later, there's a knock on the door. And this is Michael's father. He says, I want you to see what your girls did to my son. Oh, well, evident <laughs> evidently, you know, what do girls do when we fight? You know, anybody guess? Well, I think we bite. And, uh, yeah. We bite, uh, and uh, we scratch. Well, honey, his face was scratched. He had bite marks on his back. He had bite marks on his arms, bite marks on his shoulder, scratches everywhere. And my mother and father proceeded to tell him, he says, let me tell you something. Your son knocked two elementary children out of their seats. He punched my daughter in her bad eye. Now, for y'all that don't know me, uh, I stuck a butcher knife in my eye when I was five years old. That's right, I tripped and fell cutting some flowers for my mama uh, on a knife. And, you know, I went through three major surgeries in that eye uh, by the time I was, when I was five years old. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure had it did. So, um, so anyway, he says, and she says, you better hope and pray that your son has not caused any damage to my child's eye. And with that, the father left, the, and Michael was kicked off the bus permanently. Uh, but I tell you what, <laughs> we don't want to learn that, well, my maiden name was Priest. You don't fool with the Priest girls, okay? Oh, boy, did that go around. Y'all better... Y'all better not fool with the priest girls, that's for sure. Well, that's for sure, y'all, because we take care of our own. And we do. We took care of our own, y'all. But, you know, and I, you know, that's the only time, really, I can ever remember ever, ever having any time of, type of conflict. I mean... I know that sounds trashy, doesn't it? Now that I think back at it, but my dad was right. You take care of your own. And uh, to this day, you take care of your own. Just remember that, y'all. I'm not saying go out and start a war or anything, but take care of your babies. All right, and you know what, y'all? I can't find... Let me get a black one. I need a black and white check. Isn't this turning out to be a pretty colored wreath? I I was a little surprised. I didn't think... Um, 
at first when I put started pulling stuff and saying, you know, this is different. I like it. It's uh, unique. Now, you can get the sign. It is in my Etsy shop. And I also have it... Um, I also have it in uh, a turquoise background. So if you're interested in the turquoise background, you can get it in the turquoise. Y'all, I have in my workshop here, it's one of those uh, Mitsubishi, um, it's a heater air conditioner. It has a compressor outside. But I tell you what, you can you cannot hear this. It is phenomenal. This uh, air conditioner, and it's an air conditioner heater. It's one of those new, those fancy ones, you know, that you put uh, that there a lot of people put in apartments, and uh, we really like it. I tell you what, if something would happen to my hubby before me and I had to move in with my daughter I'd sell this big house that we're in which I would give anything to sell this big house and add on by my daughter and I would do uh, a sitting room sitting room a nice bathroom uh, my sitting room would have like a little uh, you know, folding doors, like with a microwave and a sink and uh, a little refrigerator in there and uh, a nice sized bedroom. And I'd have my own little garage. And then uh, upstairs, I would have um, my big workroom. And everybody's saying, upstairs, I got news for you. I would put in an elevator just to get up there because I'm not climbing stairs, y'all. No way. Or I'd have, I'd build a portable shed. I'll just do a carport and then just put a nice big portable building out there. Naturally, it'll have to have air because I'm not, you know. Okay, there you go, y'all. How's that? Look at that. All righty. Let me get this off. Okay. All right, there. Now, let's start at the very beginning. How's that? We'll do the the pumpkin and this sunflower ribbon is beautiful, y'all. And I got this sunflower ribbon through my wholesaler, which is Sims. And that's what it's called. It's Sunflower Ribbon, and I just love it. And uh, I am going to put this right here where the brown is, okay? Now, the tails, I think you all all know me by now. My tails are cut at 13 inches, which I do like that length more so than 12 because this is a pretty full wreath okay one two three and let's go like this and like this okay and then i went with the black and the white check with the turquoise which i will put with the it, behind the yellow, which I thought would be pretty. Just like this. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put the tails on the inside and the outer ring. I do not put tails on the in inner ring. Okay. Two, three. Okay. So those are just a few of my stories, y'all, from my childhood. I still, believe it or not, I still have a friend that uh, 
is very dear to me and uh, we are still good friends and uh, Joellen and Joellen and I have been friends since second grade and we still live in the same area she's been my friend all these years and uh, it's nice to have uh, a friend to look at to talk to and you know we were always best friends and I love her to death um, I have another friend that I worked with since I was 18 that I'm very close to and she lives in my area and I met her when I worked for the Times Picayune which was the local newspaper here and I that was right out of y'all went to nursing school ah uh, y'all I didn't like it it was not for me not for me y'all I just did not like it I I just didn't like it and so after nurse after a year that I said uh, guess what let me go to work let me figure out what I want to do with my life well I knew what I wanted to do I wanted to marry my husband which I did do and I had met him when I was going into 10th grade and so I married my hubby and had two children and uh, very fortunate to still be married and will be married going on 50 years in October so I graduated from high school when I was 17 so I was a youngin oh you know what y'all I um I don't know you know how you have old friends in high school and you never really the last time you saw them was in high school although every somehow you managed to connect with them on Facebook somehow and well we just happened to reconnect um, I guess through our the high school website that we have and we became friends on Facebook and well I don't know I um, hadn't heard from him in a oh, months and you know when you get that feeling that oh, so I, I I messaged him and I said how you doing just want to know how you are I haven't heard much from you or seen you on uh, Facebook much well he says um, the next thing I get he says uh, can you call me and I said sure so I called him and y'all he's not doing well at all I feel so sad for him he needs a liver transplant now he's a year older than me and things aren't looking good so put him in your prayers I said I'd put him on a prayer list but he was a very kind young man in high school so if you think about it put him on your list I would very very much appreciate it all righty coming along oh y'all you got to see I have got a wreath kit coming out it is so cute I cannot wait to show y'all at the end of this it is so cute okay there you go we've got that spread these out let me get it on the outer ring my nose itches you know what they say when your nose itch it's it somebody wants to kiss you I don't know who wants to kiss me but anyway the only person I we haven't done well maybe my grandchildren that because I can tell you since this whole uh, mess I haven't got other person the only person I've kissed is my dear hubby and we're big huggers here I don't know about y'all but we're huggers in this family um, 
we love to hug and that's just something in, i think in louisiana and you know what was so nice my daughter uh was leaving yesterday and she says mom i want a kiss i said honey you got a kiss and a hug which really we have not been doing much of and oh y'all it felt so good just a long good hug and a kiss uh because i'm sure y'all know i'm my daughter is you hear that cracking y'all that's my elbow i mean my shoulder crunch crack crunch y'all i did way too much lifting so i'm paying for it i just hope it heals i've been doing um eating pad and i've got i don't know if y'all have ever heard of these i got if you see it i don't know if you can see it because it's not down far enough i have one of those lidoderm patches on it helps but y'all it's got to get better it's got to get better that's all i can say it better get better all right that's all i can say it better get better i want to go to my son's house but i've been he's in mobile and y'all i just i would give anything to go and spend the weekend there but unfortunately his wife sandra um she is a physical therapist and you know she works with a lot of um elderly patients and i just don't feel as if i can take the risk and um you know go it's got me nervous i i want to go and i want to spend the weekend there but i can't do it i just it it's you know it's just being my age and everything like that i just don't think that it's wise of course here i'm saying that and guess what y'all i'm getting ready to leave on september the 10th or the 9th or whatever it is to go on a plane y'all want to see the mask i got it is so funny y'all y'all would y'all would say oh this woman is nuts oh yeah i'm nuts y'all you know one of those uh, those things that you get that a paint spraying mask you know that they, they use when they spray paint well guess what y'all that's the mask i've got and that's the mask this old broad using i got news for you i'm using this mask i said the heck with it i'm gonna use it and so y'all don't laugh i'm gonna take a picture and show y'all what i look like on the plane with it better yet monday i might go ahead and put it on but i'm not taking any chances they can laugh at me they can do what they want but this old broad's going to be wearing that mask but you know what y'all it is what it is when it's your time to go i guess you can take precautions yes don't get me wrong but i will tell you this if something should happen y'all i've lived a good life i'm happy i'm blessed and lord knows open the pearly gates because guess what y'all are in for a run for it that's all i can say this is looking so cute i really like the colors in here y'all and you know how you always have it this is a full wreath y'all it is really nice and full i'm very happy with it two three usually y'all when i do this i usually twist my ties three times after i get my ribbon tails in okay and last but not least my last one all right how's that i think that's pretty all righty have a few extras that's okay my little wood chips i hate i use these little wood chips they're like tongue depressors and i break them in thirds and i usually put those on the back of my wood signs i usually use uh when i do that i usually uh 
use that with, uh, I use this glue, the DAP glue on the back and then with the staples to prevent it from going through the signs. Okay, there you go. That looks good. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and take care of this sign. And I use this wire that I normally, and it is uh, called uh, Plural Wire. And this is like a uh, 26 gauge. So it's a thin wire. It's perf perfect for signs. And that is what I use for my sign. Well, I've got all my Christmas ribbon out, finally. I did that. And I moved all my other stuff. That's why my shoulder is the way it is. And uh, I have another part. This is just my little workroom. I have like a storage area behind me. And it's quite large. And uh, I have way too much stuff, y'all. Way too much stuff. Through here. Now, when you go through, I suggest that you go through the mesh. And you want to make sure that when you tie the wire, y'all, that the wire goes between a rung, okay? And so that you can tie it to the rung. All right, got it. And this says Pumpkin Junkie, and it's a, oh, I like the, the sunflower colored truck, and it's filled with pumpkins and the words are spelled with different types of color lettering, and I like it. Bringing it through, I'm going to go on the other side of the rung, get the bow on. All right, now I'm not going to cut my tails, y'all, until I see exactly how long I want them to be. Let me get it on the reef itself. Get this on, and then we'll just put, a, I have a few little pumpkins I want to put on it, just to add a little brightness. Okay, done. Got it. Now, it's so fluffed out. All right, let's trim these tails a little bit. Okay, doke. Oh, this has turned out really nice. I like the colors in it. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll curl it. I'm going to curl this one. This one up. Now, let me get my pumpkins. Okie doke. Alrighty. Put a few pumpkins on here. Okay, 
y'all if you have not gotten these these are really nice you can buy these pumpkins and you can get them by the case at dollar tree online and they're really not bad you get three pumpkins for a dollar and it's a mixture and you get actually you get uh, white and orange pumpkins and i just love them i bought them every year and i buy them by the case and uh, they come like this okay y'all i hope it hasn't interfered i just saw that uh all right this should be my last one okay well i need one more for the the wreath uh for the bow okay let's see it's in here and this goes right in here like so i want to get a smaller one i think i'm going to use a small i'll find a smaller pumpkin for here for the bow i have a little small one all righty let me lift you up and i can show you the finished product all righty let me lift you up all right y'all i don't know i can't see it i hope y'all can see the finished product but here you go this is the finished product i hope you can see it all righty i hope you enjoyed tonight's live please join me wednesday night on youtube uh and i'll see you then take care bye